Welcome to Esther in Two, Two Minutes of Insight Exploring the Book of Esther, Part 1. The verse states that Ahasuerus wanted to have his lavish feast and serve his unique wines for the purpose of fulfilling the will of each man. La'asot kirotzon ish va'ish. Why the double expression of ish va'ish? Why didn't the verse just write, kirotzon kol ish? The Talmud explains that the two ish, the two men in this pasuk, refer to Mordechai, who was Ish Yehudi, and Haman, who was Ish Tsar Ve'oyev. Rashi explains that both of them were butlers at the meal, and Achashverosh commanded that everything was done according to each of their wishes. Here are some explanations. The food was kosher at the request of Mordechai, so that the Jews refrained from eating prohibited foods. To Haman this was perfect, since it awakened the hatred among Achashverosh by them insisting not to eat his food. The drinking was according to law, with no one coerced to partake. This was great for Mordechai, who was worried the Jews would be forced to drink yain nesech, wine used for libations of idol worship. Haman was also thrilled that the Jews weren't forced to drink, because he knew they would drink anyway. This way they would be judged in heaven as transgressing out of will rather than force, an iniquity which bears a far greater punishment. What did he do? He informed the Hasverosh that the God of the Jews hates immorality. Let's bring harlots to the feast and have everyone just eat and drink, and whoever doesn't wish to come won't come. When Mordechai heard this idea, he got up and announced not to go, for he only invited you to fall prey to sin. This will only result in punishment. Unfortunately, his words fell on deaf ears. Stay tuned for tomorrow's take of Esther and Two, a project of the Finding Holiness podcast.